First, some words of warning. These exercises are engineered to allow powerful core and cardio exertion with little or no joint or spinal compression. However, without joints and discs being smashed, people in not good physical condition can easily overwork their hearts. So before you start these exercises, you need to learn a simple trick to protect your heart. Count your repetitions loud enough to hear yourself speak. Your heart cannot be overworked if you can speak with little strain. You should never stop moving while your heart is pounding. Slow your pace down until your heart stops racing. Also, if you have issues with water or stability problems, wear a life jacket. They will not hamper these exercises. Finally, be sure to check every new exercise you start with your doctors first. Let's start with an exercise I call the crawl run. The crawl run requires waist deep water so you can walk around. It will also likely require shoes, so you can maintain traction on the pool's floor. However, a bathing suit is still optional. The crawl run looks difficult to do, but it is actually very simple and painless. This is because the water supports your body weight, allowing your muscle exertion to fully load your legs instead. But the crawl run can be extremely empowering for mobility hindered people because of this. For your first 20 to 30 sessions, gently crawl run for only 100 to 500 strides, depending on your physical condition. Once you have been greatly strengthened doing the crawl run, it can be converted to a massive full body workout by adding a pair of my upper body oars. This one I call the knee booster. Now in the same position that you did the crawl run, go 100 strides in reverse as I am demonstrating here. Unlike the crawl run, which works almost all leg muscles, this only uses the muscles that operate the knees. Without your body weight resting on your knees, these muscles can operate as deeply as they can be worked without knee compression. This has the potential of massively strengthening weak knees. The knee booster can then be increased to a bodybuilding level by adding a pair of my upper body oars for massive resistance. The stride maximizer is extremely empowering for the legs, hips, and thighs. It is actually two different types of exercises in one, and it only works if you can lock your knees and hold them straight. Many fitness pros say you should never lock joints for exercise, but by keeping the legs straight, all of the drag resistance that the lower legs pick up is forced to fight the core running muscle contractions. Any motion at the knees releases this resistance. That is why the knees must be held motionless. Drive your straight legs as far as they can go without any pain. As long as you can keep the legs straight, this is very empowering. Do not exert hard, just far. Try to reach 400 strides per session and count each aloud to make sure there is no stress in your voice. People that just cannot lock their knees. BodyOars.com sells stiff wraps that can hold them locked for you. The ultimate power burning versions of the Stride Maximizer requires a set of lower body oars. These are not only for athletes wanting to maximize core strength and stride. They are wonderful for most people who cannot even use their legs. The knee fixer is an amazingly simple exercise that is about 40 times more efficient at strengthening knee muscles than the bicycle motion that most rehab centers teach people with knee issues. Because the hips are also moving while doing the bicycle motion, almost all of the drag resistance the feet load is released back into the water. The knee fixer requires that the hips stay motionless, thus forcing almost all of the resistance against the contractions of the muscles that drive the knees. If you have problems keeping your thighs motionless, imagine holding a quarter between your knees while you do this exercise.
If that does not work, consider wrapping a belt around your thighs to keep them tied together. Wear a life jacket if you try tying your legs together in a pool. However, you can also do the knee fixer while simply sitting in a hot tub. Just remember to not exceed 100 reps in any single day. The robot requires chest to shoulder deep water. The arms and legs are held as straight as possible as the body drives its normal running motion. You must jump from your feet to avoid bending your knees. As long as the legs are held straight, this is an extremely empowering cardio exercise. Just like the stride maximizer, you should have a goal of doing 400 strides non-stop. The robot can spike heart rates of anyone as fast as running a sprint if pushed at high intensity. So use your voice to find a gentle pace that you can maintain. This exercise is so efficient that wide general motion range is actually far more important than hard effort. At 100 strides, even gently, most people start to become fatigued and want to stop. But as long as your voice is not stressed, try to fight through that fatigue, and after 50 to 100 more strides, you will usually go into a runner's high, and that will make you not want to stop at 400. But do stop at 400. And do not do this exercise more than three times a week until you have about 30 sessions under your belt. If you find it difficult to hold your legs straight, we sell stiff Velcro wraps that can hold your knees straight so you do not have to. Feel free to go to BodyOrs.com or Google World's Greatest Water Workout to find us. Thanks and have a powerful life.